Sometimes people will ask me, why do we need so much imagery? Why do we have to cover the entire planet almost continuously? The point is, is that for us to understand what's happening on the Earth, whether it's for Earth sciences to understand change, or for military or intelligence uses to understand what's happening. We are, however, working with advanced technologies that enable a machine to look at the imagery, and then machine to machine, we're looking for change. Some people would refer to that as automatic target recognition or change detection. Sometimes I'm asked whether or not small satellites are really going to provide a value to customers, and I would say they already do. Smaller satellites does not mean less capable satellites. Smaller satellites can bring different types of sensors forward for testing and an evaluation in a low-cost way, but in a space environment. So how can we be persistent and resilient in a cost-effective way? Smaller satellites are easier to build. Many more of them can be produced in a shorter amount of time. Smaller satellites cost much less than the traditional large satellites. Are small satellites going to be a successful business model? Is there demand? We see a clear customer demand for persistence and for resilience. It's really about the mission. Can the mission be performed by smaller satellites? If the answer is yes, there will be a customer and that customer will pay for that service and for that data.